guys in this video will show you how to design a sport jersey using yellow images 3d mockup so before we start guys please subscribe if you're new here and click the notification bell so let's start We're going to use black and uh, black as a base color for this uh, jersey, and accent will be in yellow. So on the layers, don't forget to lock this uh, highlights and shadows. Okay. And also, we're going to to lock the parts as well. Okay. So now we're going to apply a base color for the body of the T-shirt. So. Again, our base color we're going is going to be a black base. So make sure that you have selected here solid black. Then click the paint bucket. Then click once. Don't forget to create a layer and save. Okay, same with the other uh, layers. Oops. Save. Double click. Now we're going to put a uh, black base for the body. Click one, save. So again, guys, uh, there are two ways to apply base colors on this uh, mock-up. Uh, first is uh this uh these steps that we're we're doing right now we're, which is we're going inside each layer and apply and fill the base color i will show you here the second uh option on how to apply a black black base color for the jersey parts so just to show you an example double click the smart and then click the color overlay you can see it's auto automatically change the color once you choose any color here then it will automatically apply the colors which you have selected okay let's go back to our base uh, layers and now we're going to change the color just select black okay so right, right now guys I'm going to show you how to how to put um, Uh, 
an extra outline or uh, contrast uh, stripes on the sleeve so what you're going to do is just click uh, this uh, layer or well, before you click just uh, hold command or control in your keyboard then click once so as you can see it is now selected so now click this parts merge okay click then now hit the command J or control J in your keyboard so as you can see it created a new layer for the sleeves so next step is again command hold command your keyboard or control in your keyboard and click once now sel click the select then modify then contract okay uh, apply 9 pixels let's see how thick will that be okay let's see So I want it to be more uh, thicker. So uh, we're going to select that again, contract. Then uh, going to apply another five pixels. Okay. I think the thickness on the sleeve for me is uh, enough so we're going to delete all these parts and just leave the outline here on the hem of the sleeve okay so just click delete while it's selected so now uh, command D or control D to unselect all now we're going to delete uh, all these parts and leave only here the a line here okay now hit uh, E on your keyboard for erase for eraser okay so we're going to remove these parts and this part okay so now we have small uh, stripes uh, outline on the sleeve hem Okay, now we're going to change the color just double click and color overlay then change to yellow okay now again lock this uh, for now then go back to the stripes or the outline then command j or control j in your keyboard to duplicate that then click click and drag okay click drag shift then edit transform with horizontal then bit on the right place same on the other side 
okay so now we're going to put another one in the body okay so on the hem so to do that just put your mouth or hover your, your mouse sorry here and click or hold ship or sorry command and or control in your keyboard and click once okay then click parts parts merge then command j okay then hide that parts merge now while layer this body layer is selected now click on select then oops before that just click command or control in your keyboard then click once then select then modify then contract so earlier we apply around uh, 15 pixels on the sleeves okay so now click delete while it's selected and now we're going to erase uh, those uh, these parts here and just leave an outline only on the hem of the body okay now click e or erase in your keyboard and erase this part of the layer okay so as you can see we have an outline only on the on the hem okay now we're going to put uh, accent of yellow design here to make sure the fill is selected and the yellow is selected now we're going to design this kind of effect okay now just duplicate that that design okay then click drag shift while holding shift click drag and reflect edit transform and flip horizontal to make sure it is on the same alignment just like on this one Okay, now we're going to put another accent design in this on the lower part of the shirt just like this okay I think I, I haven't changed the color of the hem so let's edit that one okay so we will just copy the color that we have used here on the sleeve just click on that and right click then copy layer style then paste right click paste layer style so the color now is changed to yellow 
from orange so this one you're going to duplicate okay this part command j or control j in your keyboard and edit transform click horizontal okay and now we're going to put the the base additional background design base design just copy paste that image okay just click here and paste Okay. Select the image, then paste pixels. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to put that on in here on the center. as a background design okay now expand adjust the size then rotate okay any background that you want to use uh, is okay so make sure that your uh, image background is on the top of the ba main body okay just drag it and drop then while this is selected make sure it's unlocked so click that uh, image then on the on opacity uh, change it to 23 or 25 percent that is okay now hover your mouse here in the center and click uh, alt or option your keyboard okay so now it's inside the main body okay let's adjust the color of our base background uh, let's try to make it a little bit darker to show the contrast colors okay now we're going to remove some of the excess uh, area on this image just click that image then select E in your keyboard for erase for eraser tool Okay, now select that part and also here select erase okay now we're going to add another accent design in and this side Okay, so we're going to create just create a new layer then select rectangle tool then select just let's see how will this look 
Okay, I think this is okay. Okay, adjust a little bit. Apply. Now duplicate, Control J or Command J in your keyboard. Okay, Control J again or Command J. Okay, make sure your spacing is balanced. Command J again or Control J in your keyboard. Oops. Okay, then select all that line. Okay, from 1 to 4. Then adjust up to here. Then right click while it's all selected. Right click that layers. Enter, right click. Then convert to smart object. It's now merging. Okay, now right click and rasterize layer. So reduce the opacity so you can see the background and hit E on your keyboard to erase the excess part. Okay. Then, put back the opacity to 100%. Then, now select the body. Command or control in your keyboard. So, while this layer is selected, uh, hit shift and command I in your keyboard. That is select inverse okay so it's going to delete this part so while it's now inverse inverse click or hit uh, delete in your keyboard so it going it will going to delete those excess parts okay now drag this down on the body parts, main body parts, okay, so as you can see it's now on its uh, pro proper place, then now click that part and duplicate command J. Or control J in your keyboard then drag then transform then flip horizontal okay now adjust Okay, make sure it's on the proper uh, place. Now, click and uh, put, hover your mouse here and click Alt or Option your keyboard and click once. Okay. So, as you can see, we're almost done on our background. Now, we're going to put the logos okay the vector logos that we have copy paste pixels okay adjust while you're adjusting the logo make sure to hold shift and alt or option here in your keyboard then drag to expand okay now click and hold drag that uh, logo layer and make sure it's on the top of the body ok 
okay then drag up then now we're going to apply the colors the color of the yellow that we have apply here so if you remember we copy the layer style of this sleeve yellow so now it's, it's still active so we're going to apply that on the logo just click and right click then paste layer style okay and now we have our front uh, design and lastly our sleeve logo we're going to apply so just drag that uh, small logo that additional logo on the area on the sleeve then rotate okay make sure it's on the top of the right arm okay now over your mouse in the center click out or option click once okay so now we have the logo on the sleeve on its proper place so we're done on the our front e jersey design now we're going to apply the back area okay so again lock these two parts and just apply black base on each part of the t-shirt okay now on the left arm new layer oops new layer paint pocket click one save and the main body same new layer click once change it to black base save so the back part is going to be a little bit faster than what we did on the front on the front because we're going to just uh, drag and drop most parts of the uh, front view of our t-shirt mainly the front design so go back to the front design that we did and now we're going to just click and drag this uh, uh, front designs so we're going to select those parts so there are going to be this one two three four five six seven uh, layers okay so click one two while uh, choosing those layers make sure you hold the shift key in your keyboard okay main body and this part and this part and this part and this part okay let's double check if we have selected all the important parts okay now drag hold drag and drop and make sure it is 
center okay let's zoom in okay we're going to do a little bit of adjustment here because of the shape of the back view so we're going to select uh, this part and adjust it up like so okay let's see let's zoom in okay let's adjust that so while on the direct selection tool just click that part that we're going to adjust click once then on your just click and adjust okay same here direct selection tool click and adjust okay now uh, we're going to adjust the front or the main background okay just click on the edge and going to just make it stretch it stretch it a little bit bigger like so until we reach the bottom okay so make sure it you don't cross the lines here so just adjust it like so and now we're going to adjust this uh, two parts let's okay like this adjust like that then if you can see here there are excess uh, prints so we're going to erase that part okay just select and E for eraser select and erase that part that excess part of the background now adjust this like so and just delete this two part to make it faster and now oops okay now select this two part uh, of the design okay so we're going to combine them oops make sure it's the this yellow oxide accent is on the top of this base uh, design now click and hold command or control in your keyboard then click again then command j or control j in your keyboard now those are the two copies now click and shift and hold and drag while holding shift then edit transform then click horizontal okay then adjust okay let's see okay we'll adjust those lines up to the edge of the jersey 
okay and make sure it's uh, power let's see how it look Let's adjust the background to five 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 Let's see. Let's just copy the background color that we have here on the front. Copy. And then go back to the back view. Now double click. Now paste background color. So lastly, we're going to adjust the design uh, on this part to make sure it's uh, aligned on the other side. Okay, so it, oh, I forgot this uh, color color. So we're going to change the to black. Then that's it. There is our finished e jersey, e sport jersey design using uh, yellow images, 3D mockup. So again, guys, I hope you enjoy this video and. Again, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell uh, for more video tutorials. Thanks guys.